the first of three semi-finals in the women's sprint hurdles. Kenny Harrison got a good start. It's pretty even at the moment. Now the American coming away, and so too Toby Amerson in the middle. And Daniel Williams for Jamaica running well. Amazon from Harrison, 12-12. That is astonishing. I can hardly believe what I've just seen. That is a massive, massive world record in the semi-final. Chase Ely would be a brilliant way to start if she could launch a big one. It's been a brilliant season. Can she keep it going? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. That is brilliant. That is only two centimetres down on her lifetime best. Now comes the celebration. Ely has been the outstanding performer this year and she has delivered once again. She has taken gold for the United States. Wherever you're watching, take a moment to savour this. It could be very, very special. Watch for Shelly Ann Fraser Price getting out well, and she has done. She's bidding for a fifth world title, and she's going to do it. Shelly Ann Fraser Price from Elaine Thompson Herra. Five world titles, five over 100 metres. Absolutely incredible performance. There's the finish line. Garcia Leon, Kimberly Garcia Leon. Remember that name, the 28 year old storms towards gold. It has been fantastic. The Pan Am Games silver medalist is world champion here in Eugene. As she comes towards the line for her second goal, she will be champion once again. Kimberly Garthier Leon over 35K. Unbeatable. Rarely has there been such a sense of expectation and anticipation ahead of a 200 meter final. Shelly Ann Fraser Price has got out well. Jackson now coming through. Thompson, Herra, and Dina Asher Smith have got a lot to do. Asher Smith is coming into the mix. Now Sharika Jackson coming up onto the shoulder of Shelly Ann Fraser Price. At last, at last, it's Jackson's turn to be the queen of sprinting. 21.46. She becomes the fastest living woman on earth. And at last, at last, after so many bronze and silver medals, it is a glittering gold for Sharika Jackson. Faith Kip Yeager bidding to become the first woman to win four 1500 meter medals. This has been utterly extraordinary. It's not far off the world record. She hasn't just taken this title, she's absolutely obliterated the whole field. 352.96. The double Olympic champion becomes the double world champion. So this is a first attempt at two metres and two centimetres. Wow, Yaroslava Mahuchik. What has she done there? A first time clearance at two metres and two centimetres. It's gold to Mahuchik of Ukraine. This is about McLaughlin and it's about the clock. Remember, they are the three fastest we've ever seen. And McLaughlin is in front by miles. Watch the clock. 51-41 is the world record. This is utterly staggering. Take a moment to savour this. We're watching a once-in-a-generation athlete performing at the peak of her powers. And it is a new world record. She has smashed the world record. And it is going to be a glittering golden finish for Sydney McLaughlin and the Americans. 317.7. A brilliant run by McLaughlin. Miller Weibo in lane three. Williams on the outside. Paulino is trying to get in the mix for the podium. And while she is coming past Williams, it's going to be all gold for Miller Weibo. The record breaker, the history maker. But at last, at last she completes her set of global goals. Her collection of golds is complete. Rojas not leading because we had that brilliant 1489 by Shanika Ricketts. Second round, can she improve on 1460? Oh yes, oh yes! The three-time world indoor champion becomes the three-time world outdoor champion.